Switch on the unit using the on-off switch on the control panel. Select a rupture disc of the desired burst pressure using sterile forceps. Briefly wet the rupture disc in isopropanol and place it in the recess of the sterile rupture disc retaining cap. Screw the retaining cap onto the end of the gas acceleration tube. Tighten the retaining cap with the torque wrench. To use the torque wrench, insert the short end of the metal rod into an accessible hole in the retaining cap. Push the long end of the rod to the right until the stainless steel rod touches the inner surface of the black tube. Prepare the microcarrier launch assembly. Place a sterile stopping screen on the stopping screen support. Install the macro carrier holder containing the loaded macro carrier on the top rim of the fixed nest. The dried micro carriers should be facing down towards the stopping screen. Replace the macro carrier cover lid on the assembly and tighten. Place micro carrier launch assembly in the top slot inside the bombardment chamber. Place the target shelf at the desired level inside the bombardment chamber. Place the sample on the target shelf. Close and latch the chamber door.